what's up guys welcome to tech academy in this video i am going to show you how to create a login form in the previous video i did a little tutorial on how to create a new activity and we are going to use that file in this video if you don't know how to create a new activity then there will be a link in the description bar below and also on the screen this is the application i created in the last video where if the user clicked on this display button a new activity will be launched display.xml and it will display our new activity has started it was a very simple tutorial and now we'll create a login form for that we'll need two text fields and one button and also two text views just to display that login id or username and password and here we'll need this text view and also one more text view which will display the username we'll write welcome username so whatever the user will enter here on clicking the button this text will get transferred to this activity and it will get displayed here so just get two text views first one text view double click and write username we don't need to assign any id to it because it won't be changed then get one plain text and here change the layout width to fill parent double click on it and there will be no text and for id write pf for text field username get one more large text and make the text value password get text field password text field so that will be hidden and here fill parent make the width fill parent double click on it and make the id tf password change the display buttons id and value double click on it and change it to log in and make it be login button login we don't need to change the on click value on button click and now open the display.xml file here we'll change this value to welcome comma and we'll need one more text view so get large text here double click on it and click on these buttons click new resource new string value and here write empty string and leave the resource value field blank click ok so it will be blank text view double click on it and set the id to tv for text view username now we'll change the main activity dot java file here is one error because we changed the button name so change it to p login what we did is we just created this method public void on button click which takes one view object and it is checking if the id of view object matches with the button id that is if the button is clicked or not it is creating one intent object and it is starting the activity before starting the activity we need to do something so we need to transfer the username from this activity to display activity and for that write i that is the intent name dot put extra here you need two parameters first is the string name and the second one is the string value for that we need to fetch the username and for text field we write edit edit text a or anything it's just a variable name and in brackets edit text find view by id here write the id of your edit text so r dot id dot pf username 
now we need to change this data type of a to string for that we create one string variable string str is equal to a dot get text which will fetch the text from this edit text data type and dot to string which will change it to string so write a name you can write username comma str which will be the value this should be equal to this and you can write anything here whatever you write here you need to write in the display or java file so open display or java file here after setting the content view to display we need to fetch the string value so for that write string username is equal to we need to get the intent so there is a method called get intent dot get extra and to fetch a string you can write get string extra and the name of the string in double quotes so user name whatever you write here you need to write it here so i made a mistake here u is capital so i need to make it capital it should be exactly same now we can run our project so click on run I have already launched my emulator. If you don't know how to create an Android emulator or Android virtual device, then there will be a link in the description bar below and also on the screen. So choose the running device and hit OK. So the application is launched now. Enter username. I write tech academy and password A B C D E. So for this to be hidden, you need to get password plain text field, sorry, password text field and hit login. I forgot to change this text view. So just go back to display, display.jar and here we just fetched the string, but we didn't set the text view to that value. So for text field, we write edit text for text view we write text view tv is equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot tv username and to resolve this error you need to import text view so write import android dot widget dot text view and also for edit text you need to import this android dot widget dot edit text if you remove this you'll get an error here so just import this one now we need to set text of this text view variable to our username so at tv dot set text and here write username that is the name of our string this one not this one now again run this project choose the emulator and hit ok It is getting installed on our emulator. And the activity is launched. So just write any username. A, B, C, D, E. Login. And you can see Welcome Tech Academy. So it is taking the username and displaying it here. So this is how you create a login form in my next couple of videos i'll show you how to link this login form to your database i'll use sqlite database which is the inbuilt database in android 
so thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like this video give it a big thumbs up bye